I want a man. No luck today? I it's horrible. What kind of man are you looking for, babe? A Spanish man. You like Latin lovers? Damn. Either Puerto Rican or Cuban. And dark skin. I don't like nothing more than me. I need a man. A man who can love A man who makes me feel like a woman. All right. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> so now you're looking for a man. I know a gay boy where I could find one. Do you usually luck out there? Mm-hmm. I know all of them. They're gay boys. They're real macho band? No. I like them the other way. I like them when they're pussy. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, it's the 4th of July. These guys drink all night. Then when it's 5 o'clock, they want to suck and fuck. And I ain't got patience for them, honey. They try to get a freebie. I'm a businesswoman. No they're... freebies, huh? No, honey. When I want freebies, I go like now. I go get the freebie. Have it and put it out. From they the guys. you good? To look like this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I've been in this business since I was 16, and I'm 24. I was married to a mob, the guy. Well, tell me about this mob guy you were hooked up with. Well, I was with him since I was 17. How'd you meet him? Hustling, when I came to New York. And then he pays for some of my surgeries, you know. He pays for some of my things. What kind of surgery? My first breath, my right. face, things like that. You know, like, I wanted to leave him. I got tired of his attitude because he used to control me like an Italian guy. And I said, honey, I'm leaving you. He has kids. He has his wife. Really? I was going to blackmail him that way. I was going to tell his wife, listen, your husband, darling, goes out with me. I know his bank account. I know everything. He said he was going to give me in, you know, to the cops, you know, that I was running the whole house. And I told him, I said, motherfucker, I'll blackmail your ass if you really think I won't. Watch me. So, you know, when I said that to him, the next week he had somebody shot me in my back. I was in a hospital for two months. You know, I had to go home and rest. And I just got back to New York about a month ago. You weren't afraid after he shot you that baby? Mm, was I afraid? Yeah. I went home to my mom and my dad. They took care of me. What was that like? It was shock to them, you know, because all these years and See, I did a lot of surgeries myself. You know, I changed everything. And you had I, no, sex I still, changed and no, everything? No, I still have it. I refuse to get that off. You know, because I'm scared. I had the money three times, you know, in front of me, you know, for the sex change. I had $10,000 in front of me three times. But I don't want it now. You know, before it was something that I really, I had to hide it. But I seen a lot of my girlfriends die after they get the sex change. They go crazy, so I don't want it. I'm happy like this. Why would they go crazy though? Why? Because it's because they can't come. And when you're used to selling your ass and your dick and playing English, and then when somebody cuts it off, I mean, it makes a big difference. You know, because most of these guys want to get fucked by us. So when you get a pussy, there's no fucking no man. And that frustration, you know, freaks you out. Mm. I had three girlfriends in the past two and a half years that you know, kill themselves after they get the pussy. Wow. And my best friend just recently, she hanged herself over a gas pipe after she got the pussy. And I watched her go through the pussy, get everything, and she was gorgeous as I am. And I said, no way, I won't destroy myself like that. What, they can't reach a climax no more? No, you don't feel nothing, it's a dry hole. Really? You know, they say they feel it. But you see, I've been around too many girls and I can tell they don't feel nothing. I seen it with my own eyes. So I'm very is it hard growing up like this then? Not really. Not for me. I'm very proud of what I am. Nobody could put me down. If somebody says to me, you are transsexual, you are you just a, a hooker, you no good, I'll tell them, you know what, motherfucker, you could kiss my ass. Cause I'm rich and I have it all and you don't. And you're you proud of what you are. You can't even look to afford to buy a pair of shoes for me. You understand? That's the attitude that I have. Do you have anybody special that you're in love with in your life? Not really. I can't really love nobody. Why? When a man gets too close to me, I run away. Really? I'm scared. It's like, see, I've been doing this since I was 16, so it's been many years of loneliness. When I feel lonely, 
I'll go into a bar and pick up a young boy, and I'll go home with him, and I have fun, whatever. And after it's finished, I pull him out. He says, yeah. can, I, can I have your number? No, I'm married. Can I see you again? No, honey, I have a husband. My husband is coming home in a half an hour. I don't let these boys get to know me. I put a wall in front of me. How did you manage to put up a wall so thick, you know? It's it don't matter how hard. gorgeous they are. Oh, I have a big dick, I have this, I'm gorgeous, I drive a Mercedes, I drive a Cadillac. It don't do shit for me. The only thing I want from them is their wallet. Everybody needs somebody to love you. I'll never fall in love with no trick again. I refuse, because I made my life miserable for six years. Him going home to his wife and to his kids. So you wanted him to leave her? Yeah. He says, I'll do anything for you. They see when a, ma a man is married, they'll never leave their wife. You're just a mistress to them. And you didn't want to be his mistress anymore? No, I wanted more than that. I wanted something else for my life. That's what I wanted.